Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're, oh man, sorry about that. We already, we're already hitting the miss. All right, welcome back to the video guys. In today's video, we're gonna do this real quick. We have been selling some of our lures. Got a bait shop near Caddo Lake. And this is actually one that we keep getting a lot of requests for. You're gonna hear different people call it different things, but we're gonna call it the electric chicken, which is basically a chartreuse in pink. I'll show you the marabou that we're gonna be using, as well as the perfect hatch chenille. And then we're also, guys, I'm gonna share something with you. You're not gonna hear too many people talking about this, but it is probably bar none, one of the most important tools when it comes to tying your own flies or or trying to, you know, maybe do this as a side hustle or something. But absolutely nobody's talking about it. I'm gonna share that with you. We're gonna put down the base layer. We got a little bit of the wet and wild because we're out of the Sally Hansons. Wet and wild is just some, you know, generic, whatever you wanna call it, uh, fingernail polish. We've got this, this is White River Marabou. Guys, I'm not a super huge fan of some of this and I'm gonna show you why. See how it's kind of different? Uh, I don't really care for that. But anyhow, that's what we got. We're gonna tie our marabou on. We're gonna go around here just a couple of times. We're gonna try to make this video quick. This will not be a video where we're gonna show you using this thing fishing because we simply don't have time to do all that. Get that about right. And then we're going to start wrapping this thing up. We'll run back up here to the head. We're going to cut this excess off. And we're going to use a little bit. And hang on one second, guys. I've got to move some stuff around. There goes your backdrop you've been enjoying. All right. Backdrop's back. And one thing I didn't show you, this is just regular old kind of the clear colored crystal flash. And we're gonna grab a piece of it real quick. This lure is very hot. <laughs> right now, we've been getting a lot of requests. Again, most of the people that are using this lure is at Caddo Lake, which is East Texas. If you guys are familiar with it, they've been slaying the crappie with it. Next week's video, I'm gonna show you another color that I've been just selling as quick as I can make them for the same area at Caddo Lake. But you can see this, just that crystal flash. And it's kind of got a pink and purple tint to it. A little bit of chartreuse mixed in there. Next up, we're gonna cut that and trim it up, make it look a little nicer. I did paint these, oh man, it. Sorry about that. Okay, technical difficulties. I did paint these, these jigs are powder coated by me. I did the pink first on the powder coat and then I just dipped it in the chartreuse to give it that extra little bit. Next up, again, this is a real quick, easy lure to tie. The jig head that we're using for this. I'm gonna get our pink. Run it up there to the head, make it look pretty. Again, a lot of people are calling this the electric chicken. I'm just calling it pink and chartreuse. But it is really hot. I understand the guys over at Lake of the Pines have been using it as well and doing real well over there. But I specifically, there's a tackle shop near Caddo Lake that sells our lures for us. So that's where these will be going. I'm going to finish it off with a whip finish. And I've been tying a bunch of these. I want to also, you guys that's been following along for any length of time, it's been a while since I've done a Tack of Shop Tuesday video, I want to say I'm sorry. I was sitting at home one day working on tying up some jigs, got a phone call, a guy offered me a job. They were needing some help, and I did go over there and work for them a little bit, helping them out. I'm back home now, <laughs> working on my own stuff, which is what I really enjoy anyways. I, 
If I can make a few bucks doing this, great. And if not, that's okay. I'm still making a few lures. And guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. If you're interested in this lure at all, comment down below. Next week, again, like I said, I'm going to show you the other lure that's really the crop you've been tearing it up at Caddo Lake. And I'm going to show you that video next week. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. If you guys enjoyed this, this is the Electric Chicken. Please hit the like button, share it with your friends. If you guys are out in the Caddo Lake area or anything like that, if you're interested in a bait shop that's selling them, message me or, or comment down below. I'll tell you what bait shop it's at. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen. Ha, I almost forgot. I'm going to show you some B-roll real quick. Probably the most important tool that nobody talks about in fly tying is going to be the vacuum cleaner. I'm telling you guys, you're going to get this stuff, all this, and I'm showing you B-roll in the background. You're going to get all this nonsense all over the place. If you guys are trying to do this in the house, the wife's going to get mad. If you guys are younger, your parents are going to get mad. Get yourself a good little shop vac, and that way you can keep your area clean. This stuff gets in your nose, your eyes, your ears, your face. I, I can't keep this marabou. It gets all over me. And then if you start switching up colors, that, those little tiny pieces will get all over everything else, along with the little glitter pieces out of that chenille or whatever. But every time I change colors, I vacuum this whole table off and start off with different colors that way you're not mixing stuff up again guys i hope you enjoyed this tip appreciate your likes comments and subscribes may you all have a blessed week and let's get outside and make something happen